University. I am studying biochemistry um, with a minor in women's and gender studies. Actually, as I said, I'm a junior. I realized that I just finished my last exam of the spring semester today, so I think that means I'm a senior in college, which is scary and exciting. I currently live in a single room um, that's in a dorm here on campus. Um, I after two years of having roommates um, with varying experiences, I just wanted to have my own space this year and it's been great. Um, so I just show you a brief overview um, of what the space looks like. Then there's a full bed that's provided, dresser, a desk and a chair, as well as you can um, have a micro fridge rented out. So that's a microwave and a fridge combination. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this dorm tour i really my style i don't really know if i have a style per se i prefer less is more i think so my walls there's stuff on the walls but it's not like completely covered with like pictures or like a tapestry um because i like plain blank plain space and so i think you'll see there's like bits and pieces like that has stuff and i got lucky i say with the dorm furniture kind of working with the style that I went for as you'll see with like the hats and the light tone woods and meshing well with the greens and the, the blues and the neutral tones. I appreciate you watching this video and let's get on with the tour. But this is the door as you can see. So beautiful. And I hung up a key ring to hang masks keys, hats, anything that, umbrellas, any lightweight coats. Um, from the door, here's the bathroom and closet. Riveting stuff. Going into the bathroom. It's a bathroom with a dorm shower curtain that I never bothered to get a pretty one because I didn't think it was gonna be really worth it. Um, just your typical bathroom and mirror. Um, it's really nice for just one person though because then you have all this under cabinet storage where I keep cleaning and just toiletry stuff. And then I hung this painting. Um, it's from Decenio. I thought it's perfect for the bathroom. Recycle and trash. My soil, potting soil for plants. And then the closet. The closet's weird. I added this little light from Dollar Tree since it's pretty dark in here. So I just have some overnight slash weekend bags, some cooking materials and a steamer, laundry, clothes, bags, hanging hats with command hooks, shoes belts are in that bag yoga mat vacuum the light really does help so i would recommend getting some sort of little stick on light that you can just push on and off the closet actually has a lot of good storage it's just tough because it has that one shelf and the shelf is really low so there's a lot of wasted space height wise above the shelf um but I can't complain. And so I decided to have a giant trash can, which is really nice. So I don't have to take trash out very often. And then, like I said, fridge, freezer. I'm pointing with my foot. There's me being weird. And then I just kept some utensils. Obviously, they gave us these little to-go utensils. So I have to keep any extras. Hand sanitizer. And then this was my food storage. And then this macrame is something that I made actually just a few weeks ago. Across from my kitchen is my lovely bed 
comfortable bed, really comfortable for a dorm bed. Um, and so I have this cube unit as my nightstand. I kept um, kind of winter gear, so like gloves, hats, scarves, as well as like camera gear kind of stuff. Um, this drawer in the middle is where I kept my um, plates, utensil, not utensils, plates, bowls, cups. And then the bottom drawer is where I kept any um, jeans or pants that I have. Um, diffuser and oils next to it. Bed, very lovely bed. It's a full size which is nice. All the single rooms here have a full size bed. The bed height that it's at allows me to fit um, a storage unit underneath, or what is this called? A bin underneath. And then I just kept suitcases, dirty clothes basket. Um, this is like my hamping, hamping, wow. Camping book bag, hammock, an outdoor blanket. And that's actually that box is what I had kitchen utensils in for when we went camping. Above my bed, I just have this picture that my older sister painted for me, some lights, and then a macrame that I made last year. And then at the foot of my bed, I have a chair and an ottoman that I use as just storage clothes, uh, clothes storage, depending on the year. Right above that, I just have my hats on display slash storage yep, makeup on top um there's some crafting slash embroidery stuff on top and then the bottom is just a random um i had my clipboard that i use for anatomy lab a toolkit and some extra light bulbs and it it's nice when i'm sitting at my desk i can just roll the cart over so it's closer so i can like reach anything that i need on the shelves and my pendant light that I ordered from a seller off Etsy, it came from Thailand, it's homemade, or handmade, and I think it's bamboo, um, and since we can't hang, hang anything from the ceilings, it's just hung on this flower hanger that my dad put together, so I could just wrap the cord around it and then just have it go down to the plug. And then from here is my desk, this might be my most favorite area. Honestly, this whole side of my room is probably my favorite just because it has the most to look at. Um, this large, massive window that basically takes up the entire size of the entire wall, which is great. And so you just have these nice drawers, a chair that um, actually is uncomfortable if you sit in it for too long like I do, studying all day. <laughs> and so... I need to recycle these jars. These were um, kombucha jars that I had finished and I thought I was gonna do something with them, like make a soap pump, but I just never have. And I've just had them sitting here since last fall. And then just this candle that I have, that's, it smells really good. It's the sugared birch from Target, hearth in hand. And then all my plants, my flowers that my boss gave me. And then a pothos plant that I'm propagating leaves. This is actually from a plant my sister has um, because I couldn't find any plants here in my town. And then a succulent, another succulent. And then my aloe plant that I've had since last summer. She's growing up to be big, beautiful, and strong. And then this table I actually took from my grandparents' house. Um, at the end of last summer. And then next to that, I have my mirror, which is actually really nice. It's not meant to be propped up. It's actually just meant to be hung on a door, but I propped it up because it looks cooler and I get better light taking pictures here. And then right next to that, the nice thing about being in this type of room, a single room here at my school, is I get to control the, um, the AC and the heat so the temperature of the room, so I'm comfortable. And then on this little side wall, I have these little mirrors. They're actually black mirrors that I got from Dollar Tree that I just spray painted to be gold so they looked more antique and just kind of matched um, kind of like the theme of the rest of the room, I guess. And then on this wall, adjacent from my desk, is my dresser and so this dresser like I said was provided and so I've just had like 
t-shirts on top, shorts, leggings, and then like this is my sock and underwear drawer. And then this lamp, that was a hand-me-down lamp for my older sister, which I'm fine with because it works fine. Um, a painting that I actually painted um, that just happened to turn out good. My speaker. This is a lemon juicer, and I thought it was actually cool to have the bracelets be like on the part where you put the lemon and just have my watches and earrings. A fake plant, and then a little tray that I made from the Dollar Tree. This is contact paper. And I just keep any medicine, obviously lip balm and some perfume. And then right above that on the wall, I also have this little wooden piece came from Dollar Tree that I just painted around the edge. And then I hammered and glued in these thumbtacks to be able to hang my necklaces from. And then this little embroidery, it's a poplar's plant. I need to frame it, but never got around to it, so it's just been thumbtacked to the wall.